Last time on Pokemon Z, Articuno was refusing to go in the Pokeball. Will Professor X have enough hypnosis left to take him down? Find out in about 30 more episodes of this <laughs> arc. I would be offended if you weren't correct. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Leaf Green, everybody. So last time we, we started the whole process of trying to nab your second legendary, right? Yeah. Yeah, because you got Zapdos. Zapdos. I got number two. Now I'm going after number one. You got Zapdos already? Yeah. Yeah, we were in the power plant. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Think of how much the baby has already taken my brain. Well, you know what they say when you get old, Andrea. The memory is the first thing to go. And what was your name again? Uh. And I just got the look from from Alex of like, what did you just say? <laughs> no, no, no. I, I didn't forget anything. Ultra Ball, go, go. I'm sure glad that these birds don't go flying around and you have to go search for them. Oh yeah, none of that wandering bullshit. Yeah, that's. Can I can I just be honest here? That's like my one thing I don't like about Gen Two. Is the wandering of Reiko, Entei, and Suikun. <laughs> it's not even just Gen Two. Well, it, it was a pain. It was a pain when, you know, you had to fr find them the first time until they would be able to. You can track them. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, gosh. you know, it was a bad idea when they didn't incorporate it in any other gens. At least, and no gens that I'm aware of. Well, because well, the did... Reggies, I think, were fixed. Well, yeah, but they did that for Latios and Lad. Latios and Latios. Latios and Latios. Latios. Yeah. Okay. They did that for them as well, and it's like, oh, <laughs> no more running around. And uh, they do it for Tornadus and Thunderous in black and white. Oh, yes. But it's been a... I need to get back into Pokemon and catch up. Oh. I mean, totally butch things. I'm totally not looking up sleeping stuff because you guys need to see last week's episode to get that. Since a lot of people assumed that we wouldn't be able to record anything, not because of burnout, but because we were too busy catching up on sleep. That's definitely a thing that happened. And I guess the real question is, so you, you're going to get, you've got Zapdos, you're going to get Articuno. Are you going to get Moltres? Of course. But you can't get Moltres till much later. Yeah, yeah, well, Victory Road, right? Not Victory Road in this one. Oh, okay. It used to be Victory Road, but this one, it's in the Sevi Islands now. Oh, uh, okay. So, is Mewtwo available in this one, too? Yes. Of course. There's still Cerulean Cave. That's, you of know... Of course, because Old Man from Pokemon is going to be in the next Smash Brothers, right? <laughs> yes. And he'll give us the missing no glitch. Yes, and that will forever break the game, and then it's just really sad. It again. It's really sad that they cannot eventually, inc you know, incorporate like some of the things like uh, like Celebi and all those other Pokemon. It's like actually in the in the Virtual Console version of Crystal, you can get Celebi now the without a cheat. Without version? cheat in the yeah. So if you buy it. If you buy Pokemon Crystal on Virtual Console, like in the Oh, Virtual Eesh. Console. For some reason, I heard Original Console. I'm oh. like, it was never out on consoles, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> original Console would be like Game Boy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Adam would have been like jumping to the chance for that, I'm sure, if it was. Well, a believe it or not, that's that's something that has been asked is like, are we going to do our third revisiting of Gen 1? Because Al, uh, Drac is going to insist on playing Pokemon Let's Go. Pokemon Let's Go. And to be honest, I'm not sure like we've already kind of covered everything yeah if we were gonna do it i'd say like let's live stream it so that it's not really a commitment to finish it <laughs> yeah so adam are you gonna get let's go eevee i'm getting eevee version and alex what are you getting i haven't decided yet see immediately she goes she goes towards her one partner <laughs> in crime when it comes to any pokemon yet all i want to do is share this with you andrea all i want to do is share this with you and you immediately have to ask if alex is getting it no nah, i'm kidding i i don't care but yes i am getting the ev version because 
Nothing against Pikachu, but Pokemon Pika, Pika. Yellow. I, I, I had Pokemon Yellow as a kid, so yeah. I'm... Why not go with Eevee? What, what do you mean, what? I said... Why not go with Eevee? Yes, yeah. exactly. Uh, because then at that point, like, I can literally shape him however my team wants to go. Or I mean, as fast asleep. Now get in the ball, you bird piece of shit. To that extent, yes. Jeez, yes. you're making your sound like you're part of the Green Grumps now. <laughs> no, I, no, I get... no. There's not nearly enough candy in our mouths now to be able to do that. <laughs> Well, I'm just saying that's like been the meme that everybody wants to send to me now is like, man, are you still a fan of the game grumps when they did that? Like, <laughs> well, first of all, I didn't know that they did that because when I watch game grumps, it's like years old. <laughs> They've been uh, on camera a few times. Yeah. Not on, oh, no, but on like my I haven't watched any of their newer segments. So like I haven't watched their more um, their current Let's Plays or anything like that. I don't watch a Game, Crum Game Grumps playthrough unless there's at least 30 episodes so that I can take my time. But no, what they're talking about is the 10 minute power hour that they oh, decided to do now. Oh, that, yeah, whatever that is. <laughs> where they just play board games or do stupid things. And I've seen it. Have you Have you seen this? No, I've not seen it. Where any. Aaron tur puts on a mouth guard <laughs> and tries to eat candy with it. <laughs> no, I didn't see that. It that is was the weirdest weird. thing ever. I'll, yeah. I'll give you a. Uh, let me let me see if I can actually find it. Let's I don't see. need to see it. I don't care. <laughs> you need it so that everybody else can see it. He only uh, found it at the first time it was through um, with Markiplier doing. See, it, this is a gift, but there you go. Oh crap! There you go. So he he's already watching this. This is Aaron with a mouth guard on, trying to uh, Eat, be yeah. disgusting. <laughs> yes, this is what Aaron's remember. Well, hey, at least we're not being compared to the Game Grumps anymore, Alex. <laughs> so that's great. That's definitely an added moment. And Alex got Articuno. Yes. yes so you have two of the three birds. You have the birds. I've got Uno and I've got Dos. I just need thrice. <laughs> I get what you did there. <laughs> Game designers. Also, Alex. Yeah. Also. Clever wordplay. Yeah. In hey, case you guys didn't notice that. <laughs> hey, hey, Alex. If you were if if Pokemon Ash Gray was not um a ha like a hack type of game, would you play it? Oh hell yeah! I totally would. Which one? At Pokemon Ash Gray. Is that the one where they permanently die? No, that's Creepy Black. That's Creepy Black. Uh, oh, Ash Gray. Ash that Creepy Black. Yeah, that's Creepy Black. Why is it Creepy Black? Because it was a because according it's like a Creepy Pasta thing. Yeah, according to the story, it was like a single black c cartridge. Oh. Um, yeah, so it's like it's like the. The, the, the best way I've, I've ever heard uh, Creepy Black told to me is like it's the ring of Pokemon games. Uh, if you play it, you're supposed to die. And so like a lot of the YouTube videos that try to cover it, oh, yeah. they, they do something to that rumor. Oh, yeah, that's that, that's when I don't like the when the stories go is when they like you play the game and then you die for real. <laughs> it's like I don't like that because I think so you're saying you wouldn't like Catherine. <laughs> well, that's not that's not entirely true. It's not dying in the game. It's like you die in the dream world. You die for real. I mean, like this. I mean, when the story insists like, oh, I, I played this weird hack game that was really scary. And and then you then the person who played it died because I'm just yeah. like, that's kind of dumb to me. So what what's Ash Gray then? Ash Gray is just like a fan ROM hack where you play as Ash Ketchum. And yeah, you, and you kind of go... Oh, so it takes you forever to get anywhere. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> and, you, and you just play through the Pokemon story, like, as, as it's totally portrayed in the map, anime. Like, making you walk around in circles. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, it's it's interesting, because you could almost play just like how you would watch the um, Indigo League, what? you know, yeah. season. And then it goes into the Orange Islands a bit until... Um, 
Pokemon 2000, then it stopped and you couldn't go any further. <laughs> oh, Bob. It was a bummer. I was like, oh, could they at least finish that story and then call it good? And you want to know what's really sad, Alex? We can't play it. Yeah. Because Nintendo would have our ass. Because, yeah. because then you you play through like Pokemon. Maybe we could get away with other, like, uh, with uh, AM2R. But Pokemon, they're watching very relentlessly. Oh, by the way, so you're you're going to exchange your Helix Fossil and get an Ammonite that you will never use again. Yeah. Go that walk poor, around for a little while. That poor, poor Ammonite. I'm looking for a Ponyta. You want to trade it for my seal? No. Oh. No. Why? <laughs> seal for, well... You, Technically, I guess Seal could use ice moves, so... Well, the yeah. only thing you hate about po trading Pokemon is that you get these nicknames you can't get rid of. Yeah. Metronome, does it strike your fancy? I'll no. tell you, it's a lot of fun. Because unlike the series, it is not the Armageddon spell in the games. <laughs> no. Unless... Ju the series like makes it imply that Clefairy always like summons Fisher. Yeah, it's, it's st stuff like that, and then when you use it in the game, it's like, oh, Metronome, I've seen, I've used that in the show. Tail whip. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you'll get lucky and it'll summon a pretty good move, but it's you just gotta be Yeah, lucky. but the problem is, is that it's it's subjected to roughly, wow, that's a lot of Pokemon that you've caught, actually. Yeah. Okay, uh, so... My tails! The problem with that is that your subject, the way that Metronome works is that it has a random chance to proc any move in the game. Yeah. So it's not narrowed. So you could literally get something that's helpful. Most of the time you're not. <laughs> because you got to look at the move list and go, okay, well, for every, um, you know, like tackle and thunder shock you have, you have tail whip. Yeah, but I've got right shoe. Would you agree to trade for my electrode? Well, if you don't want to. Yeah, actually, no, you know what? That that would be really funny. I, I would actually expect it with your luck. Somebody pulls that metronome and it, and it does self-destruct. <laughs> yeah. That that would be your luck, my friend. Well, funny, that guy who's asking for a Raichu, that was like a... In the original games, that was like a big mistranslation because it's like... I can't remember, but it like... I can't remember what he wanted or... But it was like based on something that would evolve through trade and it like confused people for years it's like is there some hidden evolution we're not aware of because <laughs> yeah because he was like you're right but she it, went and evolved but all overall it was basically just trying to hint to you that if you traded you could probably evolve some pokemon yeah but it but because because it was like a different pokemon from the different versions of like Japanese blue versus American yeah and so on and so forth so it like confused everybody's thinking like is there some hidden evolution of Raichu <laughs> is this Pika blue stuff for real <laughs> <laughs> no it's Pika God shh listen I need someone to share a secret with someone I think this chunk of amber contains Pokemon DNA it would be a shattering scientific breakthrough with Pokemon, but my colleagues just ignore what I have to say. So I have a favor to ask. I'm going to set up a massive theme park on a remote island off Costa Rica, and I'm going to extract rare extinct Pokemon DNA from this. And when it becomes very rainy, and my programmer has left out of the blue, I will then scream out, Damn! <laughs> and then I will tell my best friend to go build a mansion in the middle of nowhere <laughs> and to make sure that it has a very abundant basement <laughs> for us to put dinosaurs in. <laughs> and then when I'm not cast in the movie because I've sadly passed away, I will then once again go, damn! <laughs> You're late, where were you? And for those who can't tell what we're actually referring to, we're, we're talking about the Dino area. Crisis the movie. I mean, sorry, <laughs> Jurassic World Fallen, Cl Fallen Kingdom. I got Ammonite. But I was transferred to Bill's PC. Hiya! I'm an important doctor. Yes, very much so. And I'm gonna give him the old Amber, which is gonna give me Aerodactyl. So another Pokemon you will you won't use. That's right. That's the problem with the fossils, is that they're water and ground or water and rock, and by now you already have those. <laughs> yeah. Like doesn't do me much good to get Throw them so late in the game. Like I, I'm, I'm sorry to go all Dr. Evil on everybody, but throw me a freaking bone here. <laughs> make a rock and fire one or make a rock and 
grass one. I think there is a. Isn't there a rock in, or is it a ground and fire? I don't know. I don't know about the future gens just because I haven't really played past well, gen yeah, 3. I mean, but I, yeah, I mean, like, past locked. this gen. But, like, yeah, gen 3, both of them were, were, I think one of them was water ground and one of them was water rock. Like, oh, well, that's not helpful because I already have tons of those. Because this isn't like, um, I can't remember what, uh, Torkoal is, or, let's see. Torkoal is fire and maybe ground. Well, we got the research tool. Well, look it up. But, but I'm in the gen where Tor Torkoal exists. Yeah. I should know, Alex. Yeah. The internet demands that I should know on cue what a Torkoal is. Which means I am screwed once we hit Gen 4. I found an escape rope. Uh, let's see. So, there we boop, go. Boop, 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 yeah. boop, boop, boop. Just kind of. And well. you think this is bad with you, Alex. Now I have to use my fumble fingers to actually try and get the answer for you. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Just Google it. I mix. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> I'll give you a topic. Torkoal. Here we go. So Whoa, it oh, is... you startled nope. me. I thought you were a ghost. Uh, it's straight fire. Oh, straight fire, really? It's straight fire. And I mean, it does get like poison and wow, it gets a psychic move. Oh, at least it learns heat wave on its own. That's heat awesome. Heat wave. We're should, having a heat wave. Should have seen it coming. A tropical heat wave. And it's not helpful for me. Anyway. <laughs> well, Joe wouldn't be. Yeah, I'm at that point in the game. I don't know about you where I'm just I'm trying to merge as many types as I possibly can so that I can just have a team of six that will have some immunities and and we'll be able to take on multiple types. Because, again, now we have to worry about the Elite Four and all the problems that could come from that. Let's see. But yeah, it was a straight fire for Torkoal. And this is where I actually start to have problems with the Pokemon list. Come Gen 4, I'm going to be hopelessly lost. That's what guides are for. Yes. Well, I'm just going to look at things and go, you look like a fire type. I will have you. <laughs> Big mistake. Don't do that. Then I'm going to go look at the next thing and go, you look like a cooler fire type. I will have you and I will toss the other one to the wind, even though it will probably have the better abilities. But I have to look cool, damn it. Looking cool isn't going to win you battles. Might win you contests. Scary face. Are you saying that I'm the equivalent of May? Or Dawn? Or... Almost every other female trainer in Pokemon post post Gen 3. Well, I guess it's official, Andrea. I'm buying a mankini. <laughs> You've seen that exists, by the way, haven't you? Of course it exists. Yeah, no, th no, this is official. So this is like one of the things that fr friends decided to send to me is that the man bra and the mankini now exist. <laughs> I don't know why they exist or why there was an immediate need for them to exist because, well, dudes have been dragging for quite a while now. But yes, those exist now. So basically what Alex has done is he is justified for apparently I need to go and get a mankini because that's the only thing that, according to you guys, anybody remembers May for. Is that bikini shot of her? I guess. Well, she does look pretty cute in it. I, I remember her being slightly annoying, but... I can't get out. This whole place, it's one big puzzle. Uh, and now I'm really worried. Like, which, which one are we talking about here? I think... Cause she, guys, she was fan service in, oh. in the series. Oh, she wasn't. For, to some, she was. Well, to those people... Uh, are, are we idiots. talking that one? Yeah, the green one. Okay. Well, you can track down that image. <laughs> oh my gosh! Why? Why does this exist? <laughs> hey guys, what do you think of my new Pokemon? <laughs> why does this exist? Because fan artists, that's why. Y you know, that's the saddest reality of your answer, is your answer. Because fan artists exist. 
why am I why am I ignoring the cardinal sin that I've mentioned in previous Pokemon playthroughs? Uh -huh. Don't do image searches of Pokemon characters. You will not like what you find. And yet I'm staying here. Why am I staying here? There's a lot of good maze there. All you have to do is scroll further, my friend. And Burger then it arm. gets creepy. Oh, well, believe me, I've seen my share. Mm -hmm. I'm all desensitized to it. And that's it. We're done. We're in the next part. But, we're going to explore but, more but, of this but, ruined out Pokemon mansion but, and find the mysterious origins of Mewtwo. But, 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 Mew. Because oh. you're supposed to be able to catch a Mew here, man. Can't catch a Mew here. I know. It sucks. Mew's hiding under that truck. He is. <laughs> no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Actually, in this... the old man comes out of Final Destination and kills us all. Oh. Although in this gen, if you make it to that truck, there's a lava cookie under it. Because they had to put something under it. I'm There's so many people screaming that there should be something under that truck. That they had to put something under it.